and Samuel Merritt. The main difference between... Hold on, stop. You know the main difference between you and a crackhead is a crackhead never says, no man, I'm not feeling it today. They jump at every chance. To get, to, to, they never give up. They never. They don't never look for excuses. Oh, you get up here. Explain to the fine people what's going on. Uh, we are in the process of... Oh, were you recording? Wet sanding this thing. <laughs> yeah, in the process of sanding this, wet sanding this, so that we can repaint some stuff and re... Touch up some stuff and shoot the last coat of clear Shoot the last coat of clear. Uh, we are... Today is President's Day, 2024. Today is President's Day. That's why Samuel's not in school. I love Joe so, Biden! Good job, Abraham Lincoln! <laughs> Anyways... So, on the Anyways, so uh, today we are just wet sanding it and getting it ready for some touch up and clear. Uh, we are a quarter of the way through. Oh, no, it's almost yeah, okay. it's all, we're almost done. Oh, no, we're three just, quarters of the way. Just not enough. We're, we're almost done with the wet sanding. There's just some stuff to do, you know. Just okay, hold there. on. A couple things I want. I gotta go back in and get me easy to get right. A couple things I want to go over. Was the fact is the fact that uh we're gonna re clear everything, but we're yep. gonna do it in two parts. Two parts. Yep. We're gonna do the hood and the roof yep. and the trunk. Right. So this week they will be done. Yep. Done. And then the next Samuel's gonna start taking a couple legs off the trunk. And uh, we're gonna get it finished up. By the time we get it done, we'll have the two new tires so that when we're done, done. Right. Right. Done. Then tomorrow we have somewhere to go in the morning. Yep. Go ahead and move that ladder. Yeah. Right. You know, uh, yes, the ladder. Right. Yeah. right. What? But, uh, no, uh, by the time it'll be done, it'll be done. It'll be done by the time we get yeah. it done. The two new tires. And, uh, and another thing that I really wanted to go over today. Seth, come here. Explain to the people. Now, now, hey. All you people that commented, thank you. You you made our day. Uh, we've got one guy that commented, gave us some tips on the primer for the back glass, and a couple of movie recommendations. We need to do a commentaries on some movies. Today is not that day. Today is not. No, but uh, I want. Seth brought up a really important song about the Jesse's autumn. What is that? Uh, uh, need your love. Use your need your love or something. It sounds like it's sung by someone who's constantly on the verge of yawning. Say, say it. Jesse's on a vacation far away. Come around and take it over. <laughs> oh my God. Exactly. Okay, so oh, there's so many things, things that you want to say. You know, I like my girls a little bit older. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hey, do y'all know who the uh, black singer is? Aaron Devil? <laughs> Singer back in the day. I mean, his stuff is like was just, he was an American icon, right? He was singing, sound like somebody driving by. Oh, I'm going to leave up. Every time we pass the mic, yeah. It's not like somebody talking in a car. You have to catch it. You know when you hear a motorcycle yeah, about a stereo stop by, that sound like Aaron Neville. I'm going to die. You have to keep it, I keep it around for it. So, anyway, uh, Today is just kind of content so y'all can follow us on our journey. I'm going to go get busy on another car in there. So guys, talk to the people. Before you bust the tail out out with a hammer, let's make sure we can go get one. Good point. <laughs> okay, hey. Funny story. Funny then story. I gotta go get busy. I one time Robert Cook and I restored a nineteen fifty four Okay. Car was in incredible condition, but it had a lot of rust in the quarter panels. Matter of fact, the bottom of the quarter panels were missing. Missing? Missing right off. The rocker was gone, the quarter panels were toast, it was, it was a lot of cancer. No dents, a lot of rust. Right. Uh, we didn't have any in the doors or fenders, it just only was in uh, 
the quarter panels of the roster. So the guy brought me the card and he said, hey, I'm part of this Patrick Clipper club and I just ordered two new quarter panels. So I'm replacing these. So have at it. Right. So I took my nibbler and I cut the quarter panels off the card in pieces. All the way from the middle down. Huh. I got the quarter panels cut off the card that day. The guy calls me back the next day and tells me, I don't know what they were thinking when they told me they could get me these quarter panels. They haven't made them since 1954. Oh. So we had to take Aspen oh, no. fenders, a Dodge truck hood, with a Frankenstein. And a Frankenstein. We made quarter panels out of. Wow. Pieces. Wow. Yeah, so uh, that's why I've learned, man. Don't take a hammer to it. Unless you can replace Unless you're holding another one in your hand. What if I really want to, though? All right. I just really want to. That's the thing, though, is because that, that other one's already busted. Anyways, I'm going to have to get this thing closer to the one. Anyways, what are we going to talk about today? I don't know. Oh, one convention for Okay. Um, the gay ball. Well, the World War II. It didn't work, but they did try to make it, yeah. No, it's pretty much that it didn't work. It's that they didn't make it. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, they saw it. They were like, what is this going to do? Go into making a portable star. Right, how about this bomb? You drop it on this and make some gay. How would you make a portable star? It's a gay. It's a gay. It's a gay. It's a gay. Go, go. Talk to that fucking nerdy guy again. About his pants, about his portable star. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. Talk to him about that. It's like Oppenheimer with a bomb. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. Uh, who was the president at the time? Uh, FDR. Truman. Truman Litter. Oppenheimer started crying after he found out. And Truman literally said, I just cried to be out of my office. I think it's bad when thousands of people die. Except, uh, I need to go for it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think they would go for it. I mean, it's President's Day, Seth. Not that guy. Not that guy. I don't just instantly start celebrating Bush when it becomes President's Day, either. Oh, I love Bill Clinton. Yeah. I love President's Day. He does not. I love Bill Clinton. It's never happened. He did not have. I just have like maybe a more information for the club next time. No, Sam Rod, you just want to do it. I did not have it. Why don't you just said like the worst quotes of every US president in a Mickey Mouse voice? Uh. Like, what kind of information do you say? What would you even say for Joe Biden? Donald Trump moment? Donald Trump moment? You can say that. My boss, I'm a very self made man. My boss gave me a small loan of a million dollars. I'm a self made man. I'm a self made man. My father gave me only a small loan of a million dollars. I don't know how to, I don't know how camera angles work. Yeah, I don't know how camera angles work, dog. Yeah, I don't know anymore. I can't think of anything else to say in a Mickey Mouse voice. Uh, Force four, 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 four,
like to pick up Abraham Lincoln. Hold on. Gross. In the making of that voice. America can be described in one word. America can be described in one word. I will put it in the Okay, come on, you're pretty good. Say, I, I did not have relations with that woman. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I did not have What? I did not have I did not have Bill Clinton asked him if he smoked pot. He said, yeah. But I did not have the crazy is that Mickey Mouse is just as corrupt as those guys, too. No. His dad is. His dad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like Mickey Mouse gets too much blame. Yeah. It's like you wouldn't. You wouldn't make the Mickey Mouse protection. Yeah, you wouldn't dog. Like, okay, give me an example of a terrible person, but not too terrible. The guy that made Brendan Stimpy. Yeah, well. John Kay. I don't think he has kids. Oh, yeah. I don't know. If you have someone that's bad, but not too bad, I mean, that's like, for, I don't know, like, like, think, think Hitler, but don't think Stalin. What? No, it's, it's, uh, Stalin did objectively kill him. No, I, I, I think I'm at a loss on this one. I was gonna yeah, say I think you came up with an unrealistic goal. Yes. Yeah, no, I was gonna say like Mickey Mouse takes too much of the blame. Like you would, you'd be mad at a serial killer, but why would you get mad at his son who did nothing? Mickey Mouse has a public flavor and that's his dad. That is true. <laughs> is Mickey Mouse just as anti-Semitic as Walt Disney? <laughs> He was adopted by Snickers. He was. What are you guys talking about? Sam, give me that tape. We were just talking about the fact that Disney is owned by... No, you know what? Do you think Oswald presents his dad? I don't think Oswald knew his father. <laughs> that is true. Oswald the not-so-lucky rabbit. Oswald oh, the lucky rabbit. Someone who's a bad guy but not too bad. That, uh, that one with Big Boxer that nobody really likes because he's a jerk. Andrew Tate? No. No, Andrew Tate's terrible. No. Yeah, yeah no, I know uh, that Scottish one. Oh. Come on. I don't know what his name is. What about the guy that, uh, what about Ryan Seagal? I don't know what that is. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Steve Seagal. What does Ryan Gosling do? Uh, make him feel like such a bad person? Nothing. Uh, good point, yeah. No, Steven Seagal. Yeah, the guy that they almost feel like he was the Saturday Night Live at Wyatt. Wow. I got it! Shia LaBeouf! Shia No, Shia LaBeouf sucks. Yeah. Okay. You know, Shia LaBeouf's not as bad as, like, Hitler. Well, no, not very good. No, Shia LaBeouf made a whole movie about how his dad was, uh, was on a life-beating user. And then went on the way to say, Yeah, I made that all Yeah, I made that all So then my movie would have more flavor to it. That was for the lol. 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 The last good movie Shia LaBeouf was in was Peanut Butter Falcon. I didn't see it. It was heartwarming and made me cry and made me happy. And I was very jolly. I almost broke another one of your uh, plastic deals here. I'm gonna kill you. And that's the same. I think the, I think the last. What if? What if you? What would if I were to dare to say that the last good Shia LaBeouf movie was Holes? Was Transformers. Uh, was that a good movie though? Are you ladies? Are you ladies man 217? What? Are you ladies man 217? Uh, imagine that uh, giant robot that was just the police car like five seconds ago. Just started to start you by your eBay username. By your freaking computer. What are you doing in this situation? What are you doing? Is this dying? It's like one of those like giant skeleton destroying Manhattan. What are you doing? This what am I doing? Saying my last prayer, brother. I, I, I am done for. I'm logging on. It is so joke. You need to start like referring to people giving up on life. Uh, that's like clocking out. I am being sent. It is Daniel. I am being sent. Clocking out, logging off. Oh, well, 
You know what's over people now? Should start collect. You know what people should start calling it? What? Starting the never ending story. Being the yeah, they should call it. It's very good. Yeah. They should give, call it giving up. What? Oh, oh, losing, your, guy, so losing, so losing your horse to the swamp of sorrow. Uh, your hands are not as strong as they were. Oh. They look like such strong hands. Look at these big strong hands. Yeah, look at these big hands. They look like such strong hands. Look like such strong hands. I'll be so for real. Well, no, it's like the very beginning of Never Ending Story, you know? Never Ending Story! So it's like so cheery and everything, but it's like literally two minutes in. <laughs> yeah. Literally two minutes in. The lake was gone. Like, as in there was a hole. No, there was nothing. Let's take everything, every single struggle this character has, and remove it and make some a cardboard cutout that's walks around with everyone else. Someone has a case of the Someone, someone didn't learn from writing school. Yeah, uh, that's what I love about most, like most of the problems with modern day writing is that a lot of these people aren't really like I don't think they have any professional experience. Like writings, writer strike. Uh, you guys aren't doing good in the first half. Well, no, but the writer's strike was just about the fact that they were getting paid. I don't care if their work is bad. If these companies are worth billions of dollars selling their work, I don't care how bad it is. You pay the people that made you rich. No, no, I think it sucks. I'm not giving the little girl running wall to send my dollar. What this is a joke. Sam, what are you talking about? Your, your analogy made no sense. The point is, people have already given. Think about this. A grown man in his 40s is running a lemonade stand selling lemonade made by a four-year-old. It's crappy lemonade, but the four-year-old made it, and he's giving her less than 1% of the money he's making selling your lemonade. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There's your analogy. But, well, the <laughs> retro actively. Well, little girls are so fixed. bad at making lemonade. Why are people lying? No. I'm joking, by the way. The amount of money you deserve is entirely dependent on how well off the people you're benefiting are doing selling your world. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. For, uh, just to clarify, I was joking. I do not actually mean anything I said. He's always saying that because he was joking. That is not... <laughs> That is not entirely impossible. Well, not entirely. Looks just to admit you appeal to authority. Aren't you admit that you still have a baby? Because I don't. I'm stronger than you. Well, baby man. I could probably beat up a baby. I could probably beat up a baby. You're 18 years if old. If you, Samuel, as an 18-year-old, if you were stuck in a room with 200 kindergartners, how many do you think you could take out four years ago? All of them. To the numbers. Uh, kindergartners are kind of wild. We're talking about age ranges from, and not all of them are like the right age. Like, you've got some startups, some but you've also got some that were like held back. So, if you we're talking anywhere in between, we're talking anywhere between. Like no, five and eight. You get held back in kindergarten. I don't know if that's physically possible. I don't think that's possible. You get held back in kindergarten. Sorry, kid. Sorry, kid. You got held back in the kindergarten. Why don't you just work in the coal mine? Why don't you just work in the coal mine? 
Yeah, they're still going to They're still going to hear us. Anyways, uh, would you rather fight? Oh, here's the coach on the other team, and it's Donald. Yeah. Who's covering what? Me. <laughs> or, or, uh, oh, 200 kindergartners? 200 kindergartners? I can, I can probably pick up 200 kindergartners. So you're afraid of each other. Would you rather fight a billion lions? Would you rather fight a lion? Would you rather fight a billion lions with a sun? actually <laughs> I think no, I'd fight the sun. Do you know how easy it is to fight the sun? Yeah, just ignore Wait it. Wait until night time. Water. <laughs> Give it a minute sleep. Wait until night time. Oh, man, that was, that was pretty good. Yeah, wait until night time. Buy a ticket to Australia. Yup. Work smarter, not harder. That's what you gotta do. Uh, would you rather... Oh, that's a great thing. It's like, like, if you take that advice, like, if you take that advice, would you rather like, if you chose to fight a million lions, you would die instantly. Hey, yeah, if, if you chose to fight the sun, you would be fine until like 20,000 years from now. Oh, sun was a billion years from now. Oh, the sun's gonna explode in a billion years! Okay, guys, guys, would you rather. Would you, would you, would you rather fight a gorilla once every year? At a random time of the year? Or would you rather fight one random person every day? Neither. You are coming up with more bold crap. This stuff I asked before. My school requires an extremely tough opposition. What would you rather fight? Uh, gorilla. One person every day, because I'm always strapped. It's a little gorilla. It's not a real gorilla. No, it's not a real gorilla. We're more killing that thing. Anyways, uh, you're walking through the woods, right? And you're walking through the woods. Stop. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Uh, anyways, you're walking through the woods, and you come up. Stop, Sam. Stop. What, what all needs, if set through the doors, what else needs to be Well, there's four holy doors. The other doors have been I got a done. I got it. Whoever sanded them got them really close to done before they stopped. Left me! Walking through the woods, you're starving, right? And you come across two berry bushes. Man, with my physique, I'm walking out of that woods before I start. Wait, you're thin. You're a strapping young man. No, I'm not. You have to preface this. Okay, yeah. shut up and ask the questions. Yeah, yeah. someone dropped me down. Two berry bushes. You're not you. <laughs> two berry bushes. One has an elongated purple berry on it. The other has a like a raspberry kind of thing, like a cluster of berries. That's a green cluster of berries. Which one are you eating? Uh, those are probably just very long grapes. Those are very long grapes. But they're very long grapes. They're not a bunch, not a bunch. They're not long grapes. They're not long grapes. They're a little 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 long gr
oranges. I like oranges. Oranges are yummy. No, he said, would you rather eat purple or orange? Oranges are real! Would you rather eat purple or teal? Sam will not know. Teal isn't real either. There's nothing in nature that is teal except freaking birds. That's in nature. That's in nature. That's like those birds aren't real. Like birds aren't real. Birds aren't real. Like those vegetarian people that say eating fish doesn't matter. When I get home, that thing is eating tea. This is just giant government drones. <laughs> government drones are shit. Sure, sure. God, thank you for the government so that they would make this fake imitation <laughs> creature and call it chicken. Thank you. God. And do you think uh, dodo birds were just a failed prototype? I love that people are like, look, uh, pigeons are so stupid, and because they'll show like a picture of a uh, pigeon's nest, which is like three sticks laid down. And it's like, no, that's that's how they come they to the back of the They're called rock pigeons. They live in the rocky cliff sides. Pigeons are so stupid. Man, I like animals. I like animals. I don't like being around animals. I don't like being around animals. I'm a hashtag animal hater. I like go out of my way to eat all the animals I see. Just so the all of them. Oh, I'm a vegetarian. Not because I love animals, but because I hate them. I want to eat all their food and their habitat. <laughs> I'm like a panda. a panda. I'm like a panda, but for other creatures' toes. Pandas are so ugly. I'm sorry. Uh, I think panda bears are hilarious. I don't know how much money the Chinese government can save a year on yeah. the tri On the, these guys' lives. Like these panda. guys are trying to go extinct. Yeah. yeah. Like. It's not even a joke anymore. It's kind of sad, actually. Yeah. You know how much money the Chinese government can save in a year? They can almost save enough to build the actual houses. You know <laughs> oh, can't say that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 no. Says, the gonna... CCP is after me. Oh. Says the Chinese. My social credit. No, my, my social, social credit. credit. The Chinese police is coming after me. My social credit. No. Oh. My social credit going. Oh. Oh. That's out. You're in the floor! Hey, what is, okay, <laughs> hypothetical. You're in China. I'm, I'm leaving China. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No, I'm, I'm sorry. That was it. <laughs> that was it. Hypothetical. You're in China. Are you living or not? Am I a girl? Yes. No. 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 Uh, okay, hypothetical. Daniel, all these hypothetical questions are stupid. These kind of okay. Questions. Do you have something to talk about? Uh, let me think for a minute. Uh, uh, you're lost. <laughs> okay, well, I'm abandoning the supermarket. What aisle are you going to? The super aisle. All of the supermarkets. Uh, what aisle am I going to? Yeah. Your mom left you in the supermarket. Uh, you got separated from your senior supermarket. Uh, what what aisle are you going to? Service? Obviously, going to the front of the store. Check out yeah. service desk. Because Good she English. eventually has to go to the check. No, not the service desk. You just go to the register. She eventually has to go to the register. No, you just go to the service desk and you're like, guys, I'm guys, guys, I lost my mom. Guys, the service desk is not an aisle. That's so very simple. Okay. You have to choose an aisle. I sit in my room, think of an idea, and I call up all my friends. No, I don't! <laughs> it's a hypothetical! Okay, you realize what our friends are like Dragons and Riddles? Dragons, and they wouldn't let me sleep on the ground. Why? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, no! There's two guards walk up and tell you you're not allowed to do that. You gotta go to the kids. Sweet bag. That's you. I guess. I guess. I guess. Okay. I can't forget that right. Would you rather? Okay. Would, would you, you rather live in California? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I would rather No. Stop. At least Detroit is in America. Okay. I was like, would you rather live in a Manhattan or Detroit? <laughs> Yeah, let's say hypothetically it's a stupid Let's say hypothetically you either have to die or keep living, but eventually you have to die anyway. 
Do they suck equal? Do they suck equal? You no. don't hear a lot about Manhattan, actually. You do not hear a lot about Manhattan. No, but it's a city. Yeah. But you don't hear a lot about it. But you, you know what you always hear? What? About how awful Detroit is. Mainly from spoof movies. And the internet. So, I digress. Michigan! Ah, ah. Ah. Um, Michigan. 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 Would you rather have a respected job? Are you a YouTuber? You're a niche internet micro Samuel, I don't uh, have to choose. Would I rather have a respected job or be a niche internet micro celebrity? I'd take a job. But if I was like a mainstream internet celebrity, like Markiplier or PewDiePie? No, so the answer is you already go. Oh, let me cast my riddles on you! <laughs> Let me cast my riddles. Ma'am, if quizzes are put to the what are tests? Speaking voice always sounds weird, like whenever you talk in your normal voice, it sounds kind of like this. Or would you rather uh, naturally sound like a random fictional character every day, but be able to do a 100% accurate impression? Is it radio No, it's the water hose. I would rather uh, be able to do an impression of. George Washington. No. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. Wait, you, you, you can't you can't say anything bad about Jonah Hill. Oh, my favorite fictional character uh, is uh, Longicus. Longicus? What? Who's it? I don't think it's Freak is like to drop random. Niche. 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 <laughs> you made that up. No, you made that up. You're a liar. He's trying to make that up. Wow. Well, well, like, what's his name? What's his name? What, what is? Hold on, I just wrote. Yeah. You're gonna say Al Hazard. Al Hazard is from a HBO show. Okay. He made me think of Alvin from you know Alvin and the Chipmunks. What is their last name? If you are Christian, Christian. <laughs> Alvin, Simon, what's Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. What's the dude's name? Dave, 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 I don't know. Seville. I just want to know that Alvin, Simon, and Theodore Seville. Hey, that's right, that's right. Dead? Dead? What? Onto the, what? On to the <laughs> top of a U.S. bank tower? He was killed in a massive combination of fireworks and other explosions <laughs> by the perpetrators in free What? What are you talking about? Oh. It's a bad thing. Oh. What? <laughs> There's a fan fiction where Dave Seville gets blown up on fire. Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's like something that would be oh. at like the end of an Alpha and the Chipmunks episode as a joke. One second, who's. One second. Okay. 
Or I bet that's just one of those AI Google results. I'm saying, no, David's wrong. How hazard. Oh, yeah. 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 No, he was a singer. Who? David Seville. Yeah, that's why he picked up the chipmunks, because they were able to sing. No, he's a real dude. What? 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 Wait, so are you typing in the right people? The right person? Oh, you know who else is my favorite fictional character? The Frank Sinatra. Okay, his name was Ross Bagdasarian. Bagdasarian. In what? Professionally known by his stage name, Dave Seville. He was an American songwriter, singer, and record producer, and actor best known for creating the cartoon band Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh. Initially a stage and film actor, he rose to prominence in 1958 with the, so with the songs Witch Doctor and the Chipmunk Song, Don't Be Late for Christmas, which both became Billboard number one singles. He produced and directed The Alvin Show, which aired on CBS in 1961 and 1962. He died in 1972. Apparently, the guy. hoisted to the top of a bank. The guy. Um, notable work, Alvin and the Chipmunks. I got this point that originally Dave Seville, Seville and the Chipmunks and Bill for the first two decades as the Chipmunks. Uh, we franchise characters. You don't have to start giving the camera uh, uh, no, I want to be right now. After the whole, he died after the big tower explosion. That, uh, Alvin and the Chipmunk fans are something I was not ready for. <laughs> I didn't know they existed. I did not right know. now. All of you Alvin and the Chipmunk fans, okay. leave a comment down below. Uh, what is your favorite oh, Alvin and the Chipmunks bit song? Uh, what's your favorite fanon? What's your favorite album in the Chipmunk song? Yeah. Tom. Personally, it's uh, Make Heaven a Place on Earth. Make Heaven, well, yeah, Heaven is a Place on Earth. It's Heaven is a Place on Earth. Heaven is a Place on Earth. By, the, by uh, the Chipettes. That's the first time I heard that song. I did not know that that... Yeah, it wasn't. It was not an original. Not an original. No, it's just one of the songs I did a cover of. Yes. I'm I'm screen 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 screen. Screen. What is screaming? What is A person screaming. Uh, not in P4. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, shout out to file names. I like them. I like, I like them. Names. I like JPEG. And PNG. I don't, think I don't know what that means. But. <laughs> I just want a picture of a cat dang hot dog. What? 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 Um, shout out to Kino, 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 Shout out to the government for evicting chickens as a method to spy on farmers. Yup. Then all of a sudden the farmers just started eating them. And they're like, what the? You have to make them out of meat now? <laughs> they made great strides in biomechanical technology. Right. Shout out to, to farmers for eating chickens, right? Thanks to the first guy who built a cow. Very awkward. Very awkward for everyone. But everyone involved. We figured out where to go with this. Shout out to butterflies. I like the difference. Butterflies are a very large decomposer in the free ecosystem. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, important butterflies and moths were to the world we know it. Shout out to butterflies just being glorified houseflies and houseflies doing real work. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. They didn't do anything. Uh, I don't, I'm not actually that big of a fan. Shout out to Bedbugs waiting for beds to be invented. Right? Uh, Your weight was, was is I think that this is less interesting than the uh, hypothetical. Yeah, you just. Yeah, all of your snacks. 
I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know what else to talk about, though. Hold on, what's something I learned pretty recently? Give me a minute. Oh, that guy that, uh, ex that helped crucify Jesus came to faith in Christ. They got killed. There was a Roman centurion that, uh, like Seth was saying, he was one of the guys that helped crucify Jesus. He ended up converting to Christianity and was eventually uh, murdered for his faith, just like the apostles. And I believe his name was Longicus. 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 Yeah. Um, that's a weird name. Shout out to Longicus. Well, most Roman names were read no. Shout out to Longevity. When Julius Caesar. And shout out to Longevity. Go kill Jesus and then start to follow him. Right. That's like okay. I'm sorry. You know, Caesar was that Caesar salad is actually named after some Italian guy who made it. I yeah. imagine. I imagine it was not named after. It was named after some Italian chef who made a new salad. It was also stabbed. Wow, really wrong. So oh, yeah, Julius Caesar's last words while were, being off were uh, you uh, too, Brutus. Brutus. The two Bruticus also named a salad after me. Name a salad? No, no, it wasn't Bruticus, guys. Brutus. 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 No. A two Brutus. Oh wait, no, I'm oh, thinking of a different Roman. Three Brutus. Brutus. Guys may be right. Dad, who murdered Julius Caesar in the stage play? Julius Caesar. Like thirty two. You mean Julius Caesar from Fortnite? He's <laughs> no, not yet. Close. Close. Why actually? Day. No. Uh, uh, it's four o'clock. Yeah, we do. Uh, all right, hey everybody. I uh, I have no idea what y'all heard today. Actually, today I heard a little bit of it. It was a little bit boring near the end. Got a little bored. I think after what Seth did die down and was kind of. I think so after we have. You never have the climax of a movie in the first one third yeah. of the movie. I know Seth should have kept that in his pocket for a little bit. What? You never have the climax of a movie in the first one third of the movie. Okay. The climax of the movie should be right past the three quarters point. Wait, what was the climax of this video? The, the at the very beginning when you stood mouse. Oh yeah. Quote, quote, we quote. did find out that Alvin and the Chipmunks were all uh, like it was just one guy. Yeah. yeah. Making albums yeah. and then you know eventually how the Alvin and the Chipmunk thing started. How's this? There was actually a DJ that started it as a joke, so he played things at a. Wait, okay, well, no, what it is is, yeah, albums had 33, 75. Yeah, and, we, yeah. if you if you set it to the wrong setting, it just spins right it up. Things. Yeah, so that's how the original album in the Chipmunks started. Oh, that's... And, so, and people loved it so much they got to requesting it. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, so it was a DJ spoof, kind of like... Oh, my Mr. gosh, Duck. guys. Let's go that. There were Nightcore fans in the 50s. Stop talking. Soci Stop. Society has not gotten any worse. That, it's society always has not been gotten bad. any better. It's always been bad. It's always what been bad. Did you say nightcore? Nightcore. 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 It's, nightcore. It's, 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 it's an internet term. It's a genre of music where you just speed up songs. Yeah, um, that's it. Yep. Yeah, sometimes I watch this deal where Duke does movie reviews and he watches movies at like uh, 30%, 40% faster. 30, 30 percent faster. No, it's, you can hear the audio. You can still understand it. Exactly. And so he watches the movie in less time than anybody else. So you can hurry up and get a review out. No, no, he, he's sitting there, comment, pushing pause, you know. Yeah, oh. so let's see what's something you don't watch. Okay, it's like, have you ever seen it? Okay, Jordan Peterson did a, movie, did a review of the song, uh, and then Spags by Terrible Song. Terrible Song. Terrible Song. The only good line is Ben Shakur's, I've seen my, my money's like Lizzo, my pockets are fat. Yeah, that. I think the, the I think the thing on a Snickers bar is a lot better rapper than Ben Shapiro. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Uh, we're calling you out, Ben. Yeah. No, we're not. Calling you out, Snickers. Drop an album. Drop an album. But uh, but uh, 
No, uh, Jordan Peterson did a review of it. Paul, would you go turn the water off? Because we're kind of drowning. I will do that. Anyway, you and your hungry. But Jordan Peterson did a review of that three minute song. Uh, 48 minutes. It took him almost an hour because he would listen to literally two lines of dialogue. You know what? And then he would talk about two minutes of it. For, no, two lines. So, like, a second or less for, for like, seven minutes. That sounds. Yeah, I think he's not a liberal rant. Yeah, he's an anti-liberal rant. Yeah. He said liberals like it was a slur. Yeah, he is. He doesn't liberals. use a slur like, but he calls you a liberal. It's a bad thing. <laughs> like that one here's, thing. Here's the <laughs> idiot, stupid, Democrat. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that was y'all. That was Paul and Seth. Here's the thing about, Seth. Paul and here's Seth the thing about these stupid liberals. Paul and, they don't got, listen, Paul and Seth got into an argument where they were little, and it was like doo-doo head, butt kisser, turd muncher, blah, 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 Democrat. He was like, whoa. <laughs> don't say that to me. Don't you bet. That's not, not that. that is not okay, fair. Dad, I, I have to ask you a question. Would you would you rather fight a gorilla once every year randomly, or have to fight one person every day? Gorilla. Gorilla. Okay. Would you rather? Okay, you're going through the forest, right? You're hungry. You haven't eaten for like. Wait. So that nobody understands that I think I'm a gorilla to stop a machine. You can use a gun. No, no, I don't. I don't care. Gorillas don't have a battle tactic. Yeah, that's. You run up and kick a gorilla, and it's gonna go beat the ground. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, yeah, or run off the just tree. Fun. If I fight, if I fight one person every day, I'm guaranteed that within two days somebody's gonna kick my butt. Yeah. yeah. Right. But okay. So you're walking through the forest, right? You have to eat. You're starving. Yeah. You come across two berry bushes. One is one has an elongated purple berry. And the other one has like a cluster of berries. What, what, which one do you eat? Which one are you eating? An elongated purple berry? Yeah. It's well, not I've never grape. seen an elongated purple berry, but I have seen clusters of green. So. Okay. He said at the exact yeah, opposite I answer. Like purple ones. It's just, I don't know. Because I've seen grapes that are about this long before. They're, they're and it made me think of those. Yeah. Or like a muscadine. I like elongated. Yeah, yeah. Like a long muscadine. I just ask people questions in choir. They don't mean anything. Yeah. Apparently, he likes to ask people so questions in choir just to see how Our resident psychoanalyst. I, I do fake psychological analyze. See, when I was a kid, and I, uh, there was a whole lot of wood. annihilation. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, there was a whole lot of would you rathers. Right. But it was the 70s, so they mostly were racist and unrepeatable. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Would you, would rather, you rather own? No. Would you rather stop? <laughs> no. Here's a here's a question. Out if you had to fight two hundred kindergartners, how many do you think you could take down before you uh, succumb to the numbers? Two hundred kindergartners? I can just yeah. like in a row, like two hundred kindergartners. Like after, like, you mean like is it Mortal Kombat? Is it like yeah? Like oh. is it all at once or like in waves? Yeah, are they coming at you all at once, or are they taking turns like in Power Rangers? Okay, yeah, yeah, taking turns like Power Rangers, man. Okay, like, here's what I have to do. Like, you hit one of them, they they run off, another one comes no, at you, you from behind. you just kick one, it cries, they all cry. You're victorious. <laughs> what, the trick is to pick one up and try to, like, bowl down this minion. <laughs> you have to bowl when you start shooting. Man, this is what y'all were doing while I was in there working. Yeah, uh, we didn't awesome. actually focus on this question. But, but hey, I uh, want to thank y'all for joining us today. Leave a comment. Hey, uh, we got a comment the other day, guys. The guy gave us a couple of movies. This dude's a lot smarter than we are uh, because we were like, we love movies. We're thinking like Dumb and Dumber and Napoleon Dynamite, right? right? And Nacho Libre. And this dude's like, you need to watch The English Patient. Yeah. And Dr. I found Lee. this hidden gem. It's called Pulp Fiction. <laughs> No, but anyway, so we're going to watch The English Patient and uh, Lawrence of Arabia. Right. It's a couple American classic movies. We're going to watch them do a review on them. I and still... Then... No, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, no, the deal about it is, is since we work on cars, our movie review is going to be wild. Yeah. Because, yeah, we're going to watch that movie uh, pretty soon. We're going to do a review on it. Uh, there was one guy. He's pretty cool, man. He's got a channel where... Uh, and I never even thought of this, man. He's got a channel where he does trucks and guns and stuff. He left a comment. I looked up his channel. We shoot guns. 
Uh, right. This weekend, man, we as a my, my future son-in-law has got him a little Caltech 22 Magnum. Right. This thing sounded like a cannon going off. You know, like my 22 is like pow. This thing was like woo. Right. Like, right. Like, right. Like, right. It's a 22 Magnum and it hits loud. They started a car over there. That engine. It scared us. That engine. Oh. The we bass was in close. here and it sounded like a. Like, I swore, like, like something part of the fell, building fell off. off of the roof and onto one of the cars in there. He's got a sheet. He's actually got a sheet. We're at 9 on over 500 horsepower to fly with. Wow. Yeah, that's so pretty, that's crazy. pretty crazy. But, hey, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we're fixing to log out, clock out, because the boys have a birthday party. And I fell off a stupid ladder earlier today. kind of hurt myself. I'm around a little bit. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah I was, I'm going to assume you guys. That was Michael Scott. I am disabled. <laughs> I am. That. Did George form me, girl? I just remembered a choir question. One of the questions I. Would All you right. rather prove the existence of Bigfoot or Mothman? Mothman. Uh, Bigfoot, because people care about it. No, 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 no. No, I actually got. Lots of people said Bigfoot. Lots of people said Mothman. Surprisingly, more people said Mothman. Except this one girl named Abigail. Gross. Go ahead and dox this. Go ahead and dox her, Sam. My bad. We can cut that out. No, we, no, we don't. Go ahead. Go. I didn't. Yeah. She said Bigfoot, and she actually gave an actual answer because people actually have videos of Bigfoot. No, but here's the deal. Okay, people have people have blurry videos of Bigfoot. Okay, my deal is: Do I believe that there is a Bigfoot? I don't know. Do I believe there could be? I'm going to answer that with a question. Do you believe that the United States of America is the only continent on the planet that doesn't have an ape? Right. So yeah. that, think it's about that. Ape. It's already yeah. yeah. Realizing that there, we do understand that the animals in South America got there by the Bering Strait, and there are apes in South America. Yeah. So there had to have been an ape come through here. Yeah. Right. With that said, I believe I know exactly what the Mothman is. What? There is an owl. It's a, there's a bird, and I, they show a picture of it. There's a bird that lives up in in Canada. It's not even rare in Canada. Have you ever seen the pictures of Mothman? No. It looks like Cousin It with eyes. Here's the thing. I didn't know about Mothman until, like, during quarantine. I had never heard of the guy. Yeah. And when I first saw him, I, I didn't know it was, like, an actual cryptozoology thing people believed in. I well, thought it was a fictional character. Yeah, that bird. The great po too. Yeah, that bird. That bird Let me can see. Uh, that nope. bird can stand five feet tall. It's called ghost. What? People call it the ghost bird. Yeah. It's like Central and North America. It's it's like yeah, so it's uh, camera. Anyway, so all of the pictures of Mothman is it focused? Could be chopped up to that. Yeah. Could be chopped yeah. up to that they got because it. its eyes glow iridescent red because it can see at night. He can stand up to five feet tall. So you think it might? So that's like as tall as me. Oh, it's, like a bit, or, it's Central and South America. But. If one of them, there's only ever been one scene in North America and everything can escape from a zoo. Right. Matter of fact, there have been gorillas that have been, people thought that has been Bigfoot when they actually find out it has been apes that have escaped from circuses. I love it. Here's one thing. So one anyway, more, I one think one thing. of those got yeah. free and I, it just happened to be free the day that bridge fell in Ohio. Right. It just happened right. to be a coincidence. So here's one more thought to leave the camera with before we shut everything down. Did you know that, you know the original footage of Bigfoot, right? The Patterson Gimling film, filmed in 1960. Not the one with the snowmobile. No, but the Patterson Gimling film. Yeah, yeah. All right, here's a funny thing about that. Uh, Alex Jones. Alex Jones does not believe that that he thinks it's a guy in a suit. So they prove it, it can't be a guy in a suit. Really, they have proven anything. For one thing, they've done a that uh for one thing at that time mm-hmm. there was nothing in Hollywood. Now prosthetics, you know like uh uh underworld, the lichens in underworld, yeah. Where dudes running around with stilts and hand nails and yeah, like, the the stri- like the striders from the Dark Crystal. Yes, exactly. Now that's happened now. I believe somebody could make a suit like that now. Right. But, but at that time, if that was a man in the suit with the placement of the wrists and the elbows, that would have been like a super expensive suit. Oh, no, suits. there was nothing in Hollywood no, nothing that right. good. Yeah. They were still making Godzilla. <laughs> Gorilla. Yeah, Godzilla okay. suits, right? 
Okay, and another thing is, is they there was this one. It was the sixties. They yeah. went back and they reshot that at, at the original footage deal, the original location, and they they at the original deal and they they said, okay, well it could have been a dude in a suit because this animal was clearly six foot. The person was six foot six, six foot seven, which is in the realm of being a human, right? But then somebody else got a hold of the footage and realized, no. And A, they were shot with a Kodak 20-something instead of a Kodak blah, blah, which you used. So that, you know, like some cameras automatically have telescopic ability. But right. some of the old cameras mm -hmm. actually put things. Have you ever seen, like, this is a deal like a lot of you, you, you will never comprehend this. But when I was a kid, we had Polaroid cameras where you could stand this close to somebody and take their picture. Mm -hmm. But then when you got it developed, they were tiny in the middle of it. It looked like they were from here to that truck away. Yeah. Okay, that was just the deal back then. And so they, they showed that when they showed that the Patterson, Bob Gimling and that is the one that's still alive. Patterson's the one that wasn't, but his wife was the one that had the original footage and the original camera. Right. right. And it was one of those cameras when they showed that actually it would have had to been a dude about seven foot five. Oh, in, the, the, in a suit that was more complex than any suit Hollywood had ever used to date. Yeah, not many. Right. So not many. In that context, because like you look at the video and it does kind of look awkward, like it could be a dude in a suit. But then you had all that extra. Well, it context. looks like it could be a dude in a suit until you realize that the distance from the shoulder to the elbow uh -huh. is a is like doesn't, two thirds of the distance from the elbow to the wrist. Right. So it just and doesn't it shows match the hands do this. Right. Yeah. Which. Really? Right. right. So it, it just doesn't really match up human yeah, symmetry. Yeah, it just doesn't yeah. matter. And, and, of course, of and then of course there's that one guy that's you know, the attention grabber who constantly says, like, I was wearing the suit. I yeah. was a guy in the suit. That was but the then guy you, the you look at how tall he is and he just isn't tall. And then they tall. show him do the wall. And I know. There's a uh, okay, here at Bigfoot, we're gonna talk to the, okay, well, let's have a whole entire episode dedicated to Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah we should. because we there's a year for a while for just keep going. Yeah, but but look this up. Look this up. There's a video. There's a YouTube channel that we are not associated with. I've subscribed to him. He doesn't know we exist. But y'all need to watch it. It's called Thinker Thunker. Yeah. He is a MIT, Harvard, blah, 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 super. And he's come up with this how to tell a fake from a real. Yeah. And it's not that he's saying how to tell a fake Bigfoot from a real Bigfoot. It's how to tell a fake Bigfoot from a, I don't know what that is. Yeah, how to tell a guy in a suit from something that... From this is a hoax, so we don't know what it is. Okay, here's the thing. You can see the back of this. I'm going to do this. There's a pattern. Here is two eyes. Here's a nose. And here's a mouth, right? Every human being, every human being falls under this, these lines. Every human being does, including all of the Bigfoots found by Todd, Todd Standing, who had the Netflix Finding Bigfoot episode. Right. Apes have this, these are the eyes, the mouth, the nose, and the mouth. All apes follow this pattern. That is. All humans are this. All apes are this. Gorillas, chimpanzees, whoop, we'll just That's fall. a good point. Okay. Patty, the Patterson Gimling footage, follows that. Hmm. Huh. The mask that that dude claims to have worn. Like that. Yep, yeah, and in 1967, nobody knew this yet. Right. Nobody knew right. that, that, Nobody that, that white Bigfoot that got seen in uh, Florida a few years ago where the guy walks outside with his camera on and the light trying to figure he thought some kids was in his backyard. And there's just, uh, there's this, just a white gorilla looking in his backyard. Man. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, go on to a, face, a YouTube channel called Thinker Thunker. Thinker Thunker. Thinker Thunker. We could put his yeah. link in the... Yeah, we'll put a link if I, if somebody knows how. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you can go back. Yeah, do that. Uh, Thinker Thunker, dude, man, that dude has like there's a uh, some bunch of dudes in a construction deal. Seen a dude look like a dude in a gorilla suit out in the woods, and all of a sudden this three hundred pound tree comes out of the woods like a javelin. <laughs> wow! That's you know like that log we tried to carry the other day? Yeah. 
all four of us tried to carry that long. I could only pick up one end by yeah. myself. One of those. Yep. Yeah. Wow. So anyway, hey, y'all get up there, oh. wave at the camera. Oh, hold on. Can you see me from here? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I can only see you. Yeah, there you go. Scroll down a little bit. Samuel, down, down a little. It looks it seems like y'all need to say, boys. Boys. Y'all have a nice run. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.